All right, abs and core time. Let's get this rocking here. First exercise up on the screen. We're gonna have eight exercises in total today for two sets, 30 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds to rest and transition to the next exercise. Join me for these slow motion bicycle crunches in two, one, and we are rocking. So notice my pause on these. So I wanna just get a quick thousand one count and I really wanna focus on ab contraction here. So that's why I don't love bicycle crunches like this. I'd much rather you slow down, really focus on feeling the abs coming alive here. Go ahead, slow. Got a little exhale. I'm gonna go over to the other side. Right, five seconds here. Oh, and give me two, one, and bam. Right, we're gonna go to a high low plank. So I want you to start on your hands and have a little distance between your feet here. And then we're gonna come down to the forearms. Two, one, and so come all the way down. Don't leave your butt behind. Right here, little pause, and then back up. Little pause. Don't try to speed through these. I want some good stability here while still keeping the abs nice and tight. And then also, I'm gonna narrow my feet a little bit, get a little squeeze on the glutes here. All right, oh, excellent. A little second pause at the bottom, a little second pause at the top here. We're gonna come down and then we're going back up and right there, boom. Right, flip it over. We're gonna go with a bent knee reverse crunch. I know this is quick transition time, but I like this for the ab exercise. So I like hands under the hips, knees bent, and we are going. So what I'm trying to do is lift my butt off the ground. So like if in, in this position, I could get my hands under my hips. Right now I put my hands here because a lot of, for a lot of people, this takes a little stress off of their back. Uh, and the bent knee position does the same exact thing. So we get a lot of lower abs here with hopefully not feeling our low back at all. All right, give me one more. And got it. All right, we're gonna go to classic side plank. So for side plank, I want you to stack your feet, elbow under the shoulder here, two, one, and lift off. And then we're just hanging out here. But the key to these is to not just passively be just hanging out here, not thinking about anything. My core's tight, like I'm ready for a punch in the stomach. I'm squeezing my glutes and I'm slightly pushing my fist into the ground. That's gonna help you really engage the obliques, the abs, the glutes, everything that's involved in our core and keeping our spine very nice and healthy, right, which is good. All right, two, one, and got it. Quickly just roll over to the other side. If feet stacked is a little bit too tough for you, you can stagger the feet. Might help you with your balance a little bit. Two, one, and lift up. Right there, that core. Squeeze the glutes, a little push into the ground here. And I'm really focused, these obliques are coming alive here. I should have this posture, right, like so, and breathing. If we just can't hold the hips up on that, bend your bottom knee and then come up into the side plank from there. That should help you out there. Hopefully we could do this for 30 seconds. If not, use that bent knee, no problem. Two, one, and good. Classic Russian twist, but it, I do Russian twists a little bit different. So you're gonna be a little bit slower and I want a little pause, just like the bicycle crunch. All right, let's do it. So twist, notice my chest and my head follow the twist. And I aim for my elbow outside of the opposite thigh. And that's all the twist that I need to really start engaging those obliques. So I love putting the Russian twist after the side plank. So hopefully the obliques are a little bit engaged, right? Or a lot of bit engaged. And then we're feeling this twist a little bit better. All right, good. Give me one more each side and excellent. Oh, the dreaded hollow hold. So this one, you guys are just coming up into a crunch hold to see if you can make it for 30 seconds here. All right, two. One, and good, so I'm coming up. I go with my hands here. A lot of people will do the hollow hold back here. Just know that's gonna put extra weight on your abs. So if you're super strong and this is easy, go right ahead. If you need a little assistance, which I am fine with, just go a little bit with the hands behind the thighs here and then hold yourself up from here. I'm completely fine with this. You're still in that crunch, still set here. I'm gonna try to hang out here for another five. Good, burn it. two. One, and excellent. Plank twist. So don't go crazy on this. All right, so I don't wanna see this thing right here get set in a nice plank. Two, one, and then just slightly twist over. 
as you can see, we're incorporating a good amount of planking, good amount of crunching, then a good amount of rotation and some twists. So we're hitting those obliques as well. So deep core work, right, with some planks, twisting for the obliques, and then for that rectus abdominis, for the old six pack muscles, gotta throw some crunches in there. All right, two, one, and good. All right, back to the top. We're gonna do that all again. Again, going nice and quick, all right? Keep that burn alive in the abs, in the core here. Two, one, and back to those bicycles. That little pause. Nice, thousand one, thousand one. Good here. If at any point, like I might need a slight break right now, just give yourself about five seconds. I know it's burning, 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 and then bring it back. But burn it in a good way. Like my abs are on fire. I'm not feeling my low back. I'm not feeling my neck. That's very common with a lot of abs and core circuits. So hopefully you're feeling that too or not feeling that. And good. All right, back to the high low plank here. Quick switching, quick switching here. On the hands, little bit of, little bit of distance between the feet and we are going. All the way down. Okay, don't leave your butt behind. Right here, thousand one. And back up. Think there's a glass of water on your back. You're not doing this thing where your hips are all over the place. You're just smooth down, a little pause, and smooth back up, a little pause, keeping that core really, really, really tight here. I know you're gonna get sick of me saying that, but it's too important. People lose it and then they start feeling their low back. We gotta keep that core engaged. Two, one, and good. Well, I'm gonna roll over, take my quick 10 seconds here, back to the bent knee. You don't necessarily have to put your hands under your hips. You could be out here, but most people feel this, or they say this feels much better. So a little bit of tension off the back here. Again, butt off the ground to where you could do this at the top and fully get your hands under your hips. Great job, burning. Straight burning here. Awesome, let's go. Get about two, three more here. Two, one, and boom, nailed it. Side plank, either side is fine. It's easier to roll for me to roll to the left side to see you guys. All right, feet stacked or staggered or the bottom knee bends is fine. Lift up, and again, engage. Don't just not, don't come up and not think about anything. But core, squeeze the glutes. A little push into the ground with the elbow, and I'll get this posture set. I, I do like this setup here. Now we're just holding on, staring. You could be here, completely fine. Got it. Here, obliques, getting them, getting them. Two, one, and good. Wow, roll it over. Go to the other side. Pick up whatever setup works for your feet. Make sure that elbow's right under the shoulder. And we're coming up, two, one, and got it. All right, checklist, core tight, glutes tight, little push into the ground, and then I like, I wanna make sure I'm not like this. All right, so boom, shoulders stacked on top of each other, hips, knees, and ankles are nice and neutral. Good. Here we go. Great job. Give me another five seconds. Hang on, keep those hips up. All right. Two, one, and good. All right, we are back to those Russian twists. Again, fairly slow. All right, make sure the head and the chest are coming, meaning you're not just moving the arms. Two, one, and go. A little lean back. A lot of times I'll add a dumbbell here, but we're going with a no equipment workout today. Right here, this could be, if you do have something around, right. this could be a medicine ball, a light dumbbell, kettlebell, but notice my tempo, my core is tight. Just enough twist to keep those obliques rocking, but not going crazy through the low back. All right, good. give me another two, one, and excellent. All right, taking my 10 second rest here. Hollow hold, coming up. Use the assistance if you need to. Two, one, and bring it up. I like this. I like fingers just pointed to the ceiling. I'm gonna probably eventually come down a little bit but I'm staying up. Actually, I'm gonna stay up here. I'm gonna use a little assistance. All right, and what, just keeping that tension on the core. Get up, you're super strong. You wanna make this harder. You bring your arms back. Just make sure you're not just laying on the ground. That's the one thing I don't like about that. People just end up laying on the ground. 
I want the shoulder blades up off the ground. Right there, I'm gonna hold it. All right, give me another two, one, and awesome. All right, we just gotta finish off this plank twist and then we're done, 10 minute abs and core. Guys, this is all we need. 10 minutes is perfect for some direct abs and core work. Two, one, and good. I would maybe go 15 at the most for some direct, you know, crunches, planks, twists, but 10 minutes is absolutely fine. You could do this two times a week, right, and we'll be feeling pretty good here. Working on the six pack, all right? And then if your goal is to actually lose some fat, I got a recommendation for you here in a second. So let's go another five seconds. Good job. Give me another two, one, and go. Super done. 10 minutes, no equipment, abs before workout, smokes. All right, if you are working with no equipment, check this one out here, especially if your goal is fat loss. This is a 10, maybe 15 minute, I forget which video I'm gonna put up here, uh, but no equipment, burn some fat. Pair that up with this exercise, with this workout to work on the six pack, you're gonna be golden. Great job, I'll see you in the next video.